we are women of courage. We are, most importantly, we are women that are doing God's work. And that, that's the fuel that moves us on, moves us on to really continue to care for people and to serve people. I was privileged to stay in Canton for 10 years to a brand new hospital. <laughs> it was called Timken Mercy at that time, but it's now Mercy. It, the original hospital was Mercy Hospital, and they had like a satellite at uh, Timken Mercy, which was the, the Timken Estate, and that was something. <laughs> because the building, uh, to make a 67-bed hospital, have room for the business office, the cafeteria, the surgery, you know, x-ray, all this in this one building. It's just like, <laughs> imagine a home that was that big. <laughs> I just blew my mind, really. <laughs> There's never been a, a time when CSA has insisted that only Catholics are treated. We all, in our hospitals or in our schools, we've always been open to um, people of other faith traditions as well as people with no faith traditions because they're all children of God and that's the way we treat persons without regard for race, color, or creed. When people look at our history, they, they think we have 500 people uh, back of us, and I'm quoting one of our sisters when I say that. We're a small congregation, but we're determined to be of service to people, and that determination removes barriers. I see the Sisters of Charity as countercultural in many ways, um, supporting life, life in every way and every aspect. That's how I see it. That's a vision. <laughs> They sometimes say the sisters, but we're really talking about all of us who share this vision together. The legacy is going to continue. It's, there's going to be new stories told because of the wonderful, wonderful people that have joined this journey with the Sisters of Charity.